integrate e to the cosine x times the sine of x solution. So the idea here is to make a substitution. So we'll start by letting u be equal to cosine x. So u is equal to cosine of x. Now we'll take the derivative of both sides. So we get du, and the derivative of cosine is negative sine x dx. So this needs to look like what's in our integral up here. So we have an extra negative sign, so what we'll do is we'll multiply by negative 1. That will give us negative du equals sine x dx. All right, good stuff. So now we're ready to do this. Let's replace sine x dx with negative du. We can pull out the negative, so we have negative du. And what's left is simply e to the u. The integral of e to the u is simply e to the u, so we get negative e to the u plus our arbitrary constant of integration. And then u was cosine, so this is negative e to the cosine x plus our constant of integration, capital C. And that is the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.